Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Sunbreak! Now, last time, we went hunting for Violet Misutsune and unlocked the monster of Master Rank 100, the Scorn Magnamalo. And then, well, I went ahead and saw what skills the Violet Misutsune armor has to offer. It has some... some good old weakness exploit, bit extender, agitator and whatnot, and of course, adrenaline rush. However, the the most the one that stands out the most is Embolden, which uh, powers you up when the monster is targeting you, and which the three boosts that it gives you are first of all the defense plus forty, and then evade window on guard. This is very important because it gives you at level one. Evade window on guard 1. Embolden 2 gives you evade window 3 on guard 3. And Embolden 3 gives you evade window 5, ev evade window 5 and guard 5. Evade window doesn't stack, so you can reach maxim maximum evade window with a simple Embolden 2 and evade window 2 <laughs> in order to reach maximum iframes. And that's really good for dual blades and other dodging weapons however what I want to point out is the charge blade um, yeah I crafted the four, uh, four armor pieces together with the hoplite helmet hoplite? hoplite? Uh, anyways that one and that allows me to stack complete embolden oh I can see here complete embolden for five levels of guard and another level two guard because unlike evade window guard stacks you can give yourself up to guard level 10 and so well I don't know if level 10 will be necessary however I have found that guard level 7 is enough to block certain attacks which were not possible to block before and I'm really really excited to test it out with some other monsters which is today's episode and of course the other typical skills attack boost critical boost weakness exploit and whatnot anyway let's get to it already chosen and today we're not doing the urgent no scorn magnamala today we're back to support surveys and today's test object is Flaming Spinas together with mm. Rondin and Master Arlo. There is strength in numbers. With that said, let's get to it. Now, if Rondine is anything like her sister, she will probably also have a support conversation with Master Arlo. And it most likely will be the same about training. But let's see what it is. It doesn't seem like Rondin has a conversation with Master Arlo like Purain. Oh well, you can't win them all. Now oh, on to our test subject. Oh, this is a small flaming espinas. Explode myself. 
counter and get all ready up for the fight. Now that's just a roar, so of course I could block it before. And hmm. It seems followers deactivate and bolden, which is a shame. Oops. I wanted to aim for the <laughs> healing wirebug, but so be it. Now, the disadvantage of Emboldened is that it's mostly a one player skill. Because you need the monster to target you in order for it to be active. So it won't see as much of a play on multiplayer. It won't be as effective on multiplayer as it can be on single player. But still, there is nothing wrong with bringing it if you want to. Now let's not <laughs> corner myself like last time. Although flaming Spinas does love the corner because he keeps doing charges back over and over again. <laughs> really rush. Block. <laughs> I can simply stand there and block very easily those attacks. Things that will have given me. Knock back before, don't give me anything now. Now turn around. Or not. In order to fit as many skills as possible, I went ahead and got rid of my paralysis charge blade, which is a shame because I really like the paralysis stun combo. Reminds me a bit of Farah flinching in Pokemon. However, the Violet Misitsune charge blade allows me to get more skills, which is why I did it. And it's, of course, a very good. Just block that attack, no problem whatsoever. That's yep, that's gonna hit me. <laughs> I'm always surprised when. That Adrenaline Rush really shows you when those Evade Window 5 activates. If I had it in the first place. Which I probably did. One. Two. And a complete miss. Classic. That's a uh, ledge animation con cancel. I deal a lot back in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. But it's not as useful here. 
Still, it's fun to do. That's one request over with. Exquisite. Quest complete. Come over here, where I'm done testing. Block. Block. No damage. Completely blocked. And I don't know who put that trap, but I think it was Ravine. And that's a perfect opportunity to do this and stun the monster even. And get my input cancelled. He should break the head. Or not. Thankfully it's a small spinner. I'm sadly the giant nuke took out from Dean. But I'm confident that I will have been able to block it had it been well if emboldening was active. Don't let it get away. <laughs> <laughs> and she wakes up just like me in the morning. And we can take this wirebook for a shortcut. <laughs> Wait, where is the spinner? There it is. That's truly how I feel whenever a monster in Rice changes areas every two minutes. And that's a thief. And our giant. <laughs> yep, that's the move. And that is done. And soon enough, Master Arlo should do the. Finish it. Of course, the Bayard Misitsune. Is a fire weapon, so I have absolutely zero elemental advantage, however. It's not so bad, it's basically a... It's basically a... I am using it as a regular impact charge blade, so the element 
does not really matter. And the Garang Room experience. Smash, smash, smash. And that's actually the head broken, perfect. And I was aiming for the tail since I was too far away from the head. And Rondin places another trap. Since it's the second one, he will get out. Faster dog. I have this. And I will try to get out of the corner. I th I think that's a trap for my palico. I don't know who's saving these traps anymore. No wait, the poison trap was for my palico. And the last one was a trap for Rondine. The thunder trap. And sadly, I was not able to. To turn around in time. But still, just like regular spinners, with a little bit of impact charge blade, you can easily handle playing a spinner. And let's get out of the way. So be no knockback. Using a helper. Staggered. There it goes. I can easily block all of his attacks with barely any knockback, which is perfect for counter attacking with any eye side together with offensive guard. Which we which is what I really like doing with the charge blade and I'm really glad that I can do it now thanks to Embolden. Of course, what I wanted to see was if I was able to block the Espina's flame nuke, and sadly, the last one was not aimed at me. So I'll try fighting it normally and see if I can get it. To aim that last nuke at me. Now let's get out of that corner because, well, it's a corner and I don't want to be there. And looks like my paddock is going to hit him <laughs> right in the face. Had I not broken that nose before, <laughs> that surely would have broken it. And some good grub and solid shut eye, yeah. Only 
Finally, we had some tea. Wanting some tea, huh? Completely immersing the merchant roleplay. Now let's see if that was truly a small size of penis. No, it's not the smallest possible. It's not a gold crown. But still, it was fairly small. Oops. The bug I wanted to use before I fainted last time. Matching, matching helmets, of course. Now, of course, this is not the only use of Embolden. As I said before, it can also be used for evade window in some evading weapons such as dual blades and that's the other weapon set I wish to showcase but not today this is all I wanted to showcase today that's all I did so I say to you thank you for watching and have a nice day